Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. And as promised in the last video, when I made my cardboard tram, um, I said that I would set it into a diorama. Uh, so that's what we've done. We've got a, a cobbled area. We set the train lines down into into uh, a cobbled street there uh, <clears throat> with uh, bollards in the front where people will get onto the tram and then uh, some kind of municipal building at the back there uh, so before we get into things please subscribe to the channel please subscribe and uh, like click that like button and uh, you will be informed when new videos come along all for free yeah how about that um, I had a couple of comments about the sizes of the tram that I made. Um, it, it, it's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not possible really for me to give you the sizes because of the scale that I worked in. I was determined um, by the scale of the uh, chassis of a train set that I bought with the, the bogey wheels. So I, I just used the bottom part there and that determined then what, what the size of everything was. So it's unlikely that you would have um, a plastic toy train set lying around uh, that you could make this with. Uh, so I am cheating a little bit in that uh, I used that, uh, that uh, base, if you know what I mean. Um, also... It's the first time that I've made it. And if I were to make another one, it's like everything. You, you, you make something and then wish you'd done something else. So I would have made it a little shorter and I would have made it a little wider. Uh, so as it is, it's fine. It's OK. Uh, but rather than my give you sizes of uh, what I did, which I consider to be inaccurate anyway um, I thought it best just to uh, to show you the, the, the how I actually made the tram itself I hope that's clear <laughs> I hope we've cleared that up uh, so for the rest of the video it will be how I went about making the rest of this diorama so uh, let's just get on with it so I've worked out what size of the base that I need um, it's determined by the length of track that I've got. <clears throat> Just so happens it's two pieces of track and then the uh, the tram on top there. So I think that's going to be plenty wide enough. And then the depth will be a path, uh, a dip where the cobbled road is and the tracks and then another path. <clears throat> so frog in the throat <clears throat> you'll have to excuse me uh, so we've got our train track which is uh, what the base of my uh, tram is from an old toy train set so we've got to inset that into a cobbled road don't want to see sleepers all, all we'll see is just the, uh, the top of the track so we've got to build it up either side um, <clears throat> I've only got three quarter thick polystyrene um, it really needs to be a, a little bit thinner than this really so I've got to pack up the the, um, the train line so four pieces of card in there we do that on top that will give me then the height that I need so the either side is the same height then as my track. I hope you're following this. So then I need to make my cobbled road. And to do that, I will need to shutter, <laughs> shutter the uh, area off. So it's going to be like that. So I can put my grout, which is how I make my cobbled road. And these are on the side. Now I've got a shuttering all around here. 
of where the cobbled street will be. I hope. So I'll stick all these bits and pieces together. So I'll, I should end up with something looking like this. Uh, and then when I put my grout in, uh, that will be level all the way across there. And then I should be able to pick out with my uh, two fingers there, the, uh, the, the actual rails. So you'll just see the top of the rails through the, through the row there. Uh, that's the idea. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. That's it, I've stuck everything together. So we've got everything prepared now. So I've got my side pieces on, <coughs> two millimeter, two millimeter, and it's the, the right height. It's, it is at the bottom. <laughs> that is at, at the same height as the, the, the rails. So now all I need to do, <clears throat> and I'm not sure if I've got enough here now. Spread this all in this area. I'll <clears throat> only have enough for half, I think. I can spread that out. Oh, that bit wasn't mixed enough. But I think you're getting the idea. Just play some music for a moment while I do this. Like that. So as I bring it across, it should reveal the train like well, it's it's revealing one side anyway. So once once that is on like that, and I've I've done it <clears throat> all I, all this half as well, then I can just oh too much. <laughs> okay, try that again. Mm, no, this is not. This is not happening. No, I'm going to have to go over this again. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, when that is uh, just a very where's the track there? Just very. Oh, it's still taking too much. Hmm. Something like that. Um, I'm going to have to go back and uh, mix some more that isn't quite so runny. It's it's a little bit too uh, too much water in. But <laughs> what a fucking mess. Okay, so when that's done properly. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll have to tune into a channel that's, that somebody knows what they're doing. Um, when that's done properly, anyway, with a coat of grey grout over there, then we can pick out the train lines somehow. <laughs> like that. That's basically it. That's basically the idea, anyway. So, so that we've got um, a revealing train lines set into well concrete if you like uh, so I'll, I'll do this properly uh, without looking through the lens of a camera as well which is not easy um, I'll do it the, the other half and do this properly uh, and I'll uh, I'll wait then about um, an hour and a half or so and then mark out the the cobbles either side of the track um, yeah so I'll do that try try and retrieve what a mess I've made here and uh, we'll see what it looks like then hopefully a bit better than it does now so just a quick update then I managed to get everything quite uh, quite flat and covered the whole area and of course where I was trying to um, reveal the uh, traffic the um, tr tram lines 
um, it was too wet to do anyway so that's what was what was making a mess but of course the, the ideal way is a, another pair of <clears throat> pair of bogies I'm sure there are modelers out there screaming and shouting at me saying you stupid ass why don't you <laughs> why don't you use a pair of bogies which is an obvious thing to do really and uh, as it was drying I, I was able to uh, take out the excess like that and then leave the proper tram lines like that so that's the way to go people <laughs> use another or I suppose I could have used the tram uh, it would have been the same thing uh, anyway I've uh, marked out some of the cobbles one side at, a, at an angle like that and the cobbles between the rails and uh, a bit of a uh, um, going that way with the rails and then at an angle that way so <laughs> I shall carry on um, marking out each cobble like that now if you think this takes a long time you'd be absolutely right <laughs> it is mind numbingly boring but as you get through it, it does start to look look pretty good. So like that, all the way up there, <laughs> and it looks a long way, looks a long way like that. Um, so I'll carry on, finish that off. I can't take the debris that I've uh, churned up yet. I I'll wait for it to dry off a lot more yet, and then I can brush it off and get out all the debris between the cobbles. If I do it now, it's, it's just going to stick between the cobbles. So I'll wait for it to dry some more. Uh, but um, yeah, when that's dry, that's going to look OK. So I'll be back with the next step. So here we are the following day now. Everything is all nice and dry. We've got uh, nice dry cobbles. Uh, please remember to keep your cobbles dry. And uh, we can see our tram lines quite nicely in the cobble. I'll give you a closer look. Just needs a little bit of um, sanding a little bit on the rails. But uh, other than that, uh, I think that's a, a reasonable job. Um, I did have my doubts when I first laid the grout, but uh, I think it's turned out OK. So these areas either side are pathed areas paved areas so with a, a another strip of two millimeter cardboard I've cut out the grooves all the way along for the curb and the uh, the paving stones and they will go there and then a wider piece same at the back there just cut out grooves don't need to go too deep otherwise it will all fall to pieces so that's our scenario there then like that so now I'll have to glue these on uh, give them a coat of wall filler with water just to make them waterproof uh, before I paint them and then I can put my um, well the stuff between the cobbles I'll call it uh, mortar but the, I'll give it a, a different coloured grout between the cobbles um, and then a, a, a black wash to darken it down a bit. So I'll do all that. Uh, then I'll have to consider how to make the electrical um, pylons for the, um, for the tram. So I'll do all those things, come back and we'll see what it looks like then. So I finish off the main part of the diorama now. I've got all my cobbles done. You can see that so they're all finished now. Uh, what I did was put on, um, well, I used white wall filler actually uh, to, to put in between the cobbles and then take off the excess with a damp uh, sponge. Then gave it um, a black wash when all that was dry, a black wash over the top just to darken uh, darken everything down um, then dry brushing with uh, black and white paint 
and then just a few of the cobbles with a burnt sienna and a burnt umber. Uh, they're the colours I use, but ju just a, a very, very light uh, dry brushing, so you can you can hardly pick out the uh, the difference. But it it gives a contrast to the cobbles, just makes it look uh, a little more realistic. I feel. So there, my cobbles all done. Um, so then um, I put my street lamp on the end there. I did a video of how to make this street lamp. Uh, three or four videos ago actually it, uh, it was quite popular uh, but it was the, the the base of the street lamp that uh, <clears throat> I needed to, to model so I bought these um, cheap pens from uh, pound shop uh, dollar uh, dollar store that kind of shop these were only one pound for ten of these pens uh, but if you unscrew the bottom like that and then uh, just take off about half an inch from the end there that gives you that tapered tapered look from from a, a large diameter tapering down to a narrow diameter which is what you want for a street lamp or these electrical posts for the tram uh, but I also made these um, bollards in the front there uh, so these are <clears throat> these are the same kinds of things. I just happen to have these like small plastic baubles, which go on the top. I bought those from a, a stationer's some time ago, and then um, a little bit of chain left over from the gantry that I made uh, about two videos ago. Uh, so that that used up a little bit more of my chain, uh, and then just a, a simple fencing. With a cardboard surround um, yeah so that's it um, the uh, electrical I don't know if you can see them very well against the black background uh, but just cocktail sticks that's all and then uh, the, the sharpest part of the stick go went beyond the the, the, uh, the base there and went down into the uh, polystyrene yeah so uh, it, yes <laughs> and then uh, again um, uh, cocktail stick then at the the top there just to to uh, to hold the wire oh getting mixed up here with my words so when and, and then just a piece of thin wire across the top for the electrical uh, connection so with that on there the doors lined up there uh, I think that looks uh, reasonably good I think that's okay ah, okay so what we need now uh, is something at the back well uh, I'm um, I'm a bit fed up with making bombed out buildings everything seems to be a bombed out building um, and I don't want to build any more shops so I thought I'd have some kind of municipal building frontage going along the back. Uh, so what I've done, a piece of card, the same width. I have to come down again. So a piece of card with um, with just windows, no doors. It, it, it just happens to be part of the building that is. Um, or windows at the back there so that will sit at the back like that okay uh, but to make it a bit more interesting let me just take these off then uh, put this on the front and it looks a million times better so all it is is basically the same shape windows uh, but slightly bigger just to give it um, a, a 3D effect like that. So all the windows are set back and uh, we've got all this moulding, if you like, on the, around the windows. Uh, then even more, a piece along the f middle there and uh, these pieces on the front 
like so. So that will give a, a reasonably good looking building to go along the back. So I'll stick all this together and paint it all up because that's all it needs really. Once it's all cut up it just needs painting that's all. And put the windows in of course and that will be it. That will be the end of the project. So I'll finish it off and we'll see what the finished thing looks like then. So <clears throat> I went ahead and finished the whole project. Uh, my back building is in now. Um, it's kind of uh, four dimensional if you like with the, the windows right at the back and then uh, the window frames set back <laughs> into the front. Yeah. Uh, and then the uh, the front piece with the arches and then uh, these front mouldings, the, the coins on the side and the, the plinth along the bottom and, and this bit and, and these things, whatever they're called. Uh, so uh, that gives a good impression of uh, a munis. Well, it could be a train station, I suppose, tram, tram station or municipal building. I don't know, <laughs> but it looks OK. So um, that's my diorama completed. Um, you could, if you wanted, buy a tram. You could buy a cobbled street and you could buy a back building. But where is the fun in that? <laughs> I, I just don't get it. Um, this cost me probably two pounds, maybe three. So uh, two, three, four dollars, something like that. Uh, cost nothing to make. OK, I know it's not as good as the uh, um, resin buildings and, and uh, trams that you can buy, but uh, I, I am I am happier <laughs> knowing that it only cost me a couple of pounds. Um, and I, I'll put this on display in my living room. Uh, one of the few dioramas that I've made that I uh, put on my own display. So I'm rather pleased with it. But it looks OK, I think. There we're going down the street there. It would be better with uh, people, of course. It would be great with uh, a lot of um, 135 scale model people milling around. But I just haven't got those <laughs> or the money to buy them. So uh, I'm going to have to go without, uh, without people. This is early in the morning. <laughs> And there's nobody about. OK, so anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe, uh, click that like button and you will be. It costs no money, it doesn't cost any money, so uh, you're not losing anything. Um, and I, I, of all people, are more conscious of spending money than most. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, yeah, click the like button, subscribe, you'll be informed when new videos come along. Um, and I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, as always, I wish you happy modelling.